really unfair in this in this society today that men have ED and erectional dysfunction, that they have all these articles about men and how they can get it up and take Viagra. But when the women want to have the same elasticity that they lost and have their herbs and stuff, they're labeled, uh, uh, what is this, uh, a cougar or an old male. Oh, you just hunt, oh, you just rocking the, you just robbing the cradle. I say you men need to get the reality and face what's going on. Get involved with your with your mate instead of looking for something younger. Cause you can't reach back for time and your dick ain't gonna get no longer. Wait, 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 wait. Laura! What? I'm sorry. Okay. Now, there are some herbs you were talking about. I was talking about moringa, oleifera, it's the horseradish tree that they use this to keep men's libido up, okay? when they have erectional dysfunction. Now they also have one for women that's called maca. It's, it's, it's a Peruvian ginger root. It gets you back your, your, your from being fatigued, it makes you healthier, it makes your estrogen flow where it balances out for your body. And look here, and you really don't have to, you don't have to try and please your man, please yourself first. And that's the reason why he came with you in the first place talking about love and much love much love into it. there's other forms of love that we can that's right we can we can get back into instead of having intercourse get into that mentality something that you can you can coincide with something that both of you can recognize with i know i'm going through it right now and every day is a learning experience the libraries are open the computers are free Use that to your advantage. Don't let the financial or this stereotype stop you. It's life you know after what? 50. You, finding unique ways to have dinner with each other. Because when the kids are grown and gone. Yeah, the kids, it's the called, after nesters. you go through the, after you go through that emptiness syndrome, mm -hmm. you can, you, you have, you're open to other things. As in redecorating your house, um, getting into a new group of form. But don't forget you're a man, because most women, they go ahead and they own their own trip, but you forget about his needs and wants, too, just like you do. You know, it's it's not a one-way ticket. It's a both ways. It's gotta both ways. You got to keep the fire going. You got to keep that fire going. Even if it comes and down. dinner and little separate and then, places. And then sometimes, you know, it's okay. If you got a fireplace, perfect. Get you a picnic basket. Get That's you an funny. old rag, gold rug. And you ain't got to show your, your, your cellulite or anything, but just to the point where it's sexy enough, where it leaves his mind <laughs> Go wondering. Go ahead, Miss Laura. Because, <laughs> I, I, look, I got a, I got a 37-year-old body, That's right. but I'm 56. <laughs> and let me tell you, they, I give them a reason to get pissed off. And I love you, too. I'm through. I got